Hi friends, this is uh, Trilochon from Ceylon Technology and Java ITS.com. In this video, I will explain one of the beautiful concepts of Java 8 that is Lambda expression. So that is Lambda expression. So what is Lambda expression? Lambda expression is an anonymous method so what do you mean by anonymous method anonymous method means the method without name so what is syntax syntax there is a parameter list parameter list parameter list and there is a, an arrow mark and there is a curly bracket vegan within curly bracket begin and end we will write some code and semicolon so this is the syntax of lambda expression just to see the method without name here there is no method name so lambda expression is an anonymous method lambda expression is an alternative of anonymous in Nora class then again another point is coming to the picture what is anonymous in Nora class anonymous in Nora class means the class without name that is anonymous class the method without name that is anonymous method lambda expression is anonymous method now I will show you a practical approach uh, this is my Eclipse environment so in this environment I will show you an example and I will resolve a problem using three approaches one is by using a normal interface approach by using anonymous inner class approach and by using lambda expression approach as a result finally you will get the clarity how lambda expression is the alternative of anonymous in our class this is my eclipse environment let uh, my program name is lambda expression example dot java let i have a interface let interface transaction let i have an interface transaction and here inside this interface I have a method let the method name is void deposit void deposit already we all have known an interface containing abstract method or whatever the method present inside the interface that is by default public and abstract then how that deposit method I will define by creating an implementation class let class class name implements interface name implements interface name let uh, I have a class a which implements interface name interface is a transaction now in this class a happily I will define I will define deposit method same method so I can define so let uh, one statement I am writing system dot out dot print ln and uh, uh, let system dot out dot print ln deposited deposited amount deposited amount is deposited amount to is amount so uh, deposited amount so is amount and this is my implementation class a in the implementation class a what I did I defined deposit method now come to the main method I will take the object of a class let a or b equals to new a new a and uh, ov dot deposit OV dot deposit let I pass 20,000 so this is my main method section so when we are defined defining a method and the method have taken an int argument when that method I will call by the object so definitely I will pass an int value otherwise a mismatch will arise 
so hi friends this is a normal enter office approach so again just i am uh, recalling just i am reviewing so what i did i have an enter office transaction inside the transaction enter office i have a method deposit and taking one int argument that deposit method i define by creating an implementation class a and in main method i have taken the object of a class and the deposit method i have invoked by the object ob now i will run this code now i am executing just to see this is my output deposited amount is 20000 deposited amount is 20000 now this is a normal enter office program then our objective is what now i will resolve i will get this output by using anonymous in our class so already we all have known the class without name that is anonymous so here which class that i have implemented class a because a class contains our business logic which is our business logic deposit method definition is my business logic so now the class without name that is anonymous now i will remove the class a now now the in the main method here suppose i i uh, i remove the class a then what i will put here if the class a i will not take then another part is enter of a transaction i have suppose i will take transaction ob equals to new transaction new transaction just to see here an error will arise so what exactly the error is coming cannot instantiate the type transaction cannot instantiate the type transaction what is the meaning of this error here transaction is an enter office so in this way it is not possible to declare an object of an enter office then then what what uh, we have to do just to see this is the body of this our implementation class a here suppose here i will remove a here then just i will cut also from in this place and what i am doing just to see i just i will cut the body of a class just i will cut the body of a class and and just just here here i will paste here i will paste this body here so whatever the a class a, is, a was our implementation class that a class body just i will cut and i pasted here now this is a program of anonymous in our class so which point is representing anonymous in our class this is representing anonymous anonymous in our class just i will save this program now i will run this program just to see i am executing just to see same output we got deposited amount is 20000 just you compare previously when i was using a normal enter office approach so we had one enter office and two classes one was implementation class another the class containing main method now here one enter office and one class definitely core complexity is reducing that we observe the same problem that we resolve we got the same output by using anonymous in our class just you see here there is no class name concept but the functionality of the a class is present here so this is anonymous in our class now we will see what is the lambda expression so firstly i had told lambda expression is the alternative of anonymous in our class just to see what is the syntax what is the syntax of an lambda expression parameter list there is a arrow mark just to see this environment where is the parameter list this is the parameter list this is the parameter list so before that before that whatever anything that we have just i just i removed just i removed removed just i removed simply uh, this 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 
and uh, just i put an arrow mark just i put an arrow mark and and just i put an arrow mark and this is the semicolon control s now this is the lambda expression this is this part is the lambda expression hi to hi guys just to see uh, in which way the more and more number of code is reduced so now i i will save this code now i will run this program just to see i executed same output i got so this is the lambda expression this is lambda this is lambda expression this is lambda expression lambda expression so before uh, before concept was anonymous in our class just that is the lambda expression is the alternative of anonymous in our class so i hope you got the clarity what is lambda expression lambda expression is an anonymous method the method without name and lambda expression is the alternative approach of anonymous in our class so we can replace the anonymous in our class code with the help of lambda expression just to see uh, this approach lambda expression approach within our very less number of code that we uh, wrote to get our output so this is called as lambda expression and this is there is a, a point when the lambda expression uh, is fully defined suppose uh, let let uh, i have another method void withdraw void withdraw there is another argument int amount just to see when i am taking another abstract method transaction is an interface so we can take any number of abstract methods inside the interface there is no problem but in this context if i am taking another method just you see to the lambda expression line immediately an error is coming the target type of this expression must be a functional interface so what the error is representing the target type of this expression must be a functional interface so what the error is representing lambda expression is defined lambda expression is valid provided that the interface must be a functional interface so here another point came to the picture what is functional interface the interface containing only one abstract method that is called as functional interface again i am repeating the interface containing only one abstract method that is called as functional interface but more than one abstract method if i will take inside the interface and again i will represent lambda expression immediately the compile time error will arise so the second time when i am taking a method definitely it is violating the protocol so this is lambda expression and functional interface if i want to define another method if i want to take another abstract method inside the interface another interface i have to take interface transaction 1 interface transaction 2 then another uh, what another lambda expression i will write a transaction would be one here again transaction would be two equals to int amount arrow mark and system dot out of frontal and withdraw is this so num if another objective if another task that we have that task i will confer that i will consider another interface that i will consider another lambda expression so overall i hope i hope you got the clarity what is lambda expression and what is functional interface and what is anonymous in our class thank you